Hey guys, um, it's Sydney or Tuxedo Pug. Uh, so as you can tell, I'm kind of still really sunburned because I went on a vacation, so that's the kind of thing. Um, I am making this video because as I posted on my Tumblr earlier today, uh, a while back I made a video addressing like reasons why I like Hannah Hart and Grace Helbig, but that was like five months ago. So along with Mamrie Hart, I'm gonna put her in here because I don't think that she gets as much love as she deserves because she is also amazing. And also if you see me kind of like looking over to the side, uh, I kind of made like a list I guess to help me organize my thoughts about um, Grace, Hannah, and Mamrie because as you can only imagine, I have a lot of things in my head. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna start. Uh, Grace Helbig. Whew. Uh, she was actually the first person that uh, I watched out of the trio. Uh, the way that I got into her is because I think I was watching a Jenna Marbles video, and she was like one of the, uh, recommended on the side. And I was like, ooh, I'm gonna click on it. And then I clicked on it, and I really, really liked her. And, uh, I liked her humor, and her humor kind of matched mine. Um, so if any of you do watch Daily Grace, which I'm sure you do, or else you probably won't be watching this video, or follow me on Tumblr, um... She works really, really hard. She puts out five uh, videos a week, even though, like, even though sometimes she said, like, herself that she may not be in, like, the best mood to make a video, but she's like, let's do this, and she still does it, and she still puts out pretty good, like, she puts out pretty amazing videos. Not only that, but Grace loves to interact with her fans. She interacts with them, like, via Twitter, via Tumblr, via YouTube, and she, like, hazes them, and she watches movie with, movies with them, or with us. I'm just gonna say us, because I'm part of this, um, fandom. Um, and I think that's really, really great because, like, nowadays you don't see many YouTubers doing that because a lot of YouTubers, when, um, there's a conversation, it's completely one way and it's really, really boring. Sometimes in her videos she does, like, advice videos and she actually gives pretty, pretty good advice. Uh, I think, I'm sorry that I'm saying, uh, so much. I apologize. But in, um, one of her videos, she talked about, like, uh, social anxiety and how to get over it, and I think she gave some pretty good advice referring to that. So I'm gonna move on to Mamrie Hart, because Mamrie Hart's pretty cool. If you guys don't know who she is, she, um, hosts my, um, not my drunk kitchen, fuck. She hosts Why Dad, which is, uh, You Deserve a Drink. She also puts out regular videos, and in her videos, she puts in, like, a built-in drinking game. And she comes up with pretty funny puns slash jokes, and they're really, really crude humor, but I love them because, like I said, um, my humor is also relating to them. She's actually very, very inspirational because, uh, like Grace, I think she works really, really hard when she makes her videos. And she puts a lot of thought into them. I saved Tana Hart for last because I actually have a lot of things to say about her. Um, I actually found out about Hannah through Grace. They were doing some hurricane hangout for like uh, Hurricane Sandy, I think sometime in like late October. And I watched it and she was one of the people on there. I was like, whoa, she's really, really funny. And that was the first time that I saw uh, Hannah or Hannah or Mamrie, but I didn't really, really get into Hannah until probably like January or February, probably like right around when she started Hello Harto. If you guys don't know what Hello Harto is, it's when she went around the United States to um, meet fans and volunteer at uh, volunteer meetups, and it was just really, really cool. And she repackaged probably a hundred thousand pounds of food for like um, people that are less fortunate, which I think is really, really amazing. How many YouTubers out there do you see like, I mean, yeah, a lot of them go to VidCon and a lot of them go to playlists to meet their fans and stuff like that, but how many like YouTubers do you see going around the United States, okay, not only meeting their fans, but having like charity meetups and having fans volunteer and repackage food and help their community? Um, because throughout this, it's not only, like, it wasn't only a one-time thing. Uh, Hannah didn't stop in Arizona, sadly. But even though she didn't stop in Arizona, I still gathered probably a good amount of friends, and we went out volunteering at our local food bank. So she's even affecting areas that she did not go. And, um, to the areas that she did go, even when she left, they're still continuing volunteer work. And I think that's fantastic. She was using the fact that she's like famous on YouTube and stuff like that to help out the community. And I think that's great. 
And I really don't think she has as, pl like, as many subscribers as she should. Not only to Hannah May Mary Grace, I kind of wanted to give an extra shout out to like the community on Tumblr. And um, I wanted to give a shout out to all the friends that I've made out there. And all the people that have taken the time to talk to me and actually get to know me. Um, you guys are fantastic and you guys have probably helped me through a great deal of things that I've had to go through in my life. And um, I really don't think I could be, I really don't think that I could be any more thankful. And, um, just know that I love you guys. Um, so, I think that's where I'm going to end this video. Um, I'm sorry that I probably did a lot of rambling, but there's a lot to say. So, uh, I love you all. And, um, my dog's getting impatient because he's outside. But anyway, um, I'll make a video some other time. Love you.